The non-load brake elbow has a similar construction, but its male probe contact is not designed to break load between the cable connector and the electrical equipment. Instead, the internal parts of the non-load brake elbow are mechanically bolted together at the contact points. This is an illustration of an unassembled non-load brake elbow. The male probe contact is a short, threaded piece that screws into a bushing designed for non-load brake use. And you can see that there is no arc extinguishing device. So, to remove a non-load brake elbow, you first must remove the load from the cable and equipment. The elbow and bushing must then be isolated and tested to ensure voltage has been removed before contacting the elbow with rubber gloves. The elbow also has a rubber end cap that's installed as an additional sealing device after the connection is made, and it provides the area for testing the cable for voltage. Okay, now that we've seen how the two types of elbows are constructed, let's watch as a load brake elbow is prepared and installed on a typical URD pad mounted transformer. The elbow will be installed on a jacketed cable with a concentric neutral. The line worker first checks the elbow termination kit to make sure that it's the right one for the cable it will be installed on. He also makes sure that the connector provided in the kit is the correct size for the cable he's working with. Once he's determined that he has the right kit for the job, the line worker trains the cable, leaving enough slack in the cable to make the termination. The line worker begins the termination by placing a tape on the cable at the bushing. He makes a measurement with a template provided with the elbow kit and places another tape at a point 12 inches from the mark that was at the center of the transformer bushing. This distance ensures that there will be enough of the concentric wires remaining to connect to the ground in the transformer after the termination is complete. He then scores the jacket at the mark and uses one of the concentric neutral wires for removing the jacket, being careful not to break the concentric wire while pulling through the jacket. He uses a neutral winder, designed to roll along the axis of the cable to prevent damaging the concentric using a ratcheting motion. After this is done, he peels the jacket down to the cable mark, taking care not to damage any of the concentric wires. A rubber tape is placed at the end of the jacket to help seal the cable jacket from moisture. Once the jacket is removed, exposing the concentric wires, he then trains the concentric wires so that they can be grounded later. Two concentric wires are left out for grounding the eye of the elbow.